ఈ బెరీ ఫుడ్ ఆఫ్టర్ మనం టుడే వి విల్ డిస్కస్ ద కాన్సెప్ట్ కాల్ ఇట్ ఇస్ ఆ సెకండ్ యూనిట్ డిస్క్రిప్ట్ ఫోరియల్ ట్రాన్స్ఫర్ అండ్ ఇట్స్ ప్రాపర్టీస్ ఆ ఫస్ట్ యూ ఎండ్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ ఇస్ వి విల్ ఏబుల్ టు నో ది కాన్సెప్ట్ కాల్ ద టిఎఫ్ అండ్ ఫస్ట్ అండ్ ఫర్ మోస్ట్ వై యు కెన్ గో ఫర్ ది టిఎఫ్ this is the object to we have to be learned the first thing we have dft is nothing but it is a discrete signal to convert the time to bits right if you know the fourier transform that is we have x of t we can apply x of t to the fourier transform simply you have to get in the x where only is nothing but minus infinity x of t e to the power of minus j will be getting to it into dt this is what fourier transform fourier transform which is the property of conversion time to this called as what this time to frequency why the signal is continuous another point here is if the signal is discontinuous is discrete and the discrete fourier transform is obviously periodic in nature the signal is called if you consider x of y to apply what so it is a um, why we can consider it is the discrete fourier transform we can call it where we have dft of what we have to converse x of n then we will get x of k so where the k is to be summation n is equal to 0 of n and n is to be we know the concept of x of n and we need to be power of minus j to the power k n n where n is the periodic value n is the time period time signal k is the frequency and with respect to it is the ideal inverse discrete fourier transform so the concept is that why we can convert time to frequency and frequency to time in the discrete signal so we have to use the concept called as dft as well as the idf that is the thing how to be yeah and here we can mean it is a turing factor basically to the fact of maybe n is equal to e to the power of minus j 2 pi pi n this is a true factor so if you want to do it for the things you can write you can easily write this so we have only two formulas one is dft that will be time to frequency and another one that is the idft that is the frequency here we can write as a k so k to here i can write as a m k to m that is what given sequence given if the frequency is x of m that is the 2 1 4 minus 2 2 minus 0 something there will be given so you have to calculate x of k so by using the dft similarly if i will give the x of t that is 1 2 minus j 3 and minus 2 they will give so you have to calculate the x of n so it will be calculated by using the word idft that's it you can write it as a term two. so before going to solve the sum problems we can go to the part it is not to be so the problem we have So 
Change the exponent of n. It will be power of minus j two by k n by n plus d into summation n equal to zero to n minus one. X two of n. It will be power of minus j two by k n by n. It is add. If you know this value, it is nothing but a into x one of k plus b into x two of k. This is the property we need to be. Properties we saw, and we have some some other properties we have. I think we have to be like Pareto's property, multiplication property, modulation property, we have, uh, circular convolution properties we have, time shifting properties we have. All the properties we have. In that scenario, we have to be discussed one to one. Uh, like uh, if if you consider third property, time. Like time shifting, circular time shifting property we need to be studied. So x of n is the signal x of x. X star of n is the circular signal. So here we need, like we can consider BFT of x of n minus n naught is the circular. So this is called DFT of x of n minus n naught. It is nothing but e to the power of minus j two by k in place of n i replace n dot again into x of k. This is the property of time shifting property. And now coming to the proof, where we have to find the x of n? Where we have to find the x of n? Summation n is equal to k equal to some zero to n minus one x of k e to the power of my Plus j two by k n by n. We are replace n with the n minus n. We replace n is equal to n minus n. So we will get x of n minus n is equal to one by n. So n is equal to zero to. I just simply add the quantities. We will get j two by k n by n into we will get j two by k. N not by with the term it is a so it is a plus term we have and minus n not so it is a minus so we have this term will be plus one plus one and it is nothing but it x of n e to the power of minus so this term will be x of n e to the power of j two by k n not by X of n minus apply apply D F T R so you will get D F T R X of circular D F T R n not is equal to D F T R X of n D F T R X of n is equal to X of k D F T R minus J two by k So these are the circular types. Likewise, we have some different different topic. This topic we will discuss another group. Ask the state and define some properties like complex, DFT, etc.